Hello CS50G, I'm excited to present to you my final project for CS50G, Dungeon Escape. Dungeon Escape is a roguelike game uh, which features random dungeon generation and it is a lot of fun. Upon loading up the game we are presented with the first game state aka the main menu. When we press play we head into the game state in a new scene. Now we are presented with the game state. Upon entering the game state, we are presented with the starting room. In the starting room, we can find an NPC which tells us the backstory of how we ended up here and uh, what is our goal for the game. TLDR, we are a thief and we are stuck in this dungeon. We need to fight the final boss and win in order to escape and reclaim our freedom. It is important to note that each level in the game state is randomly generated. More on that later. As we can see, we encounter numerous enemies along our way in our dungeon. And chests, which are the two main objectives of the game. If we load up our, our other game state, which is the menu, we can see uh, why that matters. We gain experience for defeating enemies and that levels us up, which, got, which grants us more health. We gain coins from chests, which lets us then upgrade our weapon. The main gameplay loop of this game is the player's decision. We can see this is the combat. It is fairly simple, but I just leveled up, which means I gained health. If, if I take the chest, you can see we gain coins. Now, when we have enough coins, we can upgrade our weapon. Now we do more damage and have each weapon is unique and has stats. Example are damage and knockback. Each dungeon level contains a room which I like to call the exit room. We are presented with two possible choices. The player can either decide to head down further into the dungeon in hopes to get better loot and co more coins to upgrade his weapon and equipment and fight more enemies which give more XP and level him up or he can choose to fight the boss right now as he is with his current equipment. The better the equipment, the easier the boss fight will be. For this example, we're going to head straight for the boss fight. Upon us entering the Dungeon Master's uh, lair, we are presented with this room. Here we can find the NPC wishing us good luck in our upcoming battle. I recommend the player to get as much loot as possible since the boss fight is fairly difficult and requires a lot of skill or the best of equipment. For this example, I'm going to lower the boss's health, since the boss battle will be fairly difficult. Upon entering the boss room, we hear boss music and a custom health bar appears with the boss's health. Now we can see the boss. He has this custom mechanic where two swords levitate around him and uh, cause the player and force the player to make careful decisions. He does also, also he does a lot of damage, as we can see. Upon beating the boss, the player is granted with the windscreen, and thus, the end of the game. I should also mention that this game has permanent death, which means that every death in the game means a complete restart of the player's playthrough. This will force the player to make uh, wise decisions. We can test it out right now. Oh, let me level up, actually. As we can see, I have 7 health, I'm level 3, I'm level 3, and I have 25 coins. Let's die. This is the player death screen. Now we are only presented with one possible choice. Head back to the main menu, and if we wish, play the game again from scratch. As you can see, we have zero coins in our level one, which means our game restarted completely. This goes the same if the player has any upgraded weapons. This is why the game is kind of hard, because if the player makes a decision to fight the boss, the to fight the boss early, he risks losing everything he has uh, made so far, and the same goes with going down further into the dungeon. That is it for Dungeon Escape. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Thank you CS50G for the amazing experience and bye bye.